Today's video is about one hell of a gaping on the Trading 212's built-in leverage showers. I have no idea how these things are allowed. They are as corrupt as get out. And I have all the evidence today and I'm going to expose it all. What is the crack everyone? Welcome back to Bio Cell. The only positive I'm going to take from the BS that you're getting on the Trading 212's leverage is I can at least make a video out of it. On my channel I always talk about you're better going with ETFs to have the built-in leverage and I still stand by that but these built-in ones that are on Trading 212 are disgusting. I've always had issues with these leverage trades. I've always said the spreads are horrible, they don't quite add up, you never quite work out but today really Royal and truly took the f so the first reason you should never buy these things is because they don't trade within the normal hours. So they trade in UK or European times. They start at 8 a.m. and close at half four. When the USA market, for example, doesn't start till half two till nine. So you will always have this lag, this excuse for these fund managers to be able to go, oh, we'll just make us up as we go along. So things you need to consider that are factored into the price. The exchange rate will change. That's factored into the price. Daily fees factored into the price and reset. So these things are reset every day at a certain time. And then whatever the difference is between the non-trading hours and the trading hours. So there's all these things that are all magically calculated. And ultimately, it's all set up to leave you raw. On my channel, I put into my Discord that I jumped on the Twitter trade once we heard Elon Musk was getting involved. I thought, yeah, I'm going to go with this. So I threw it. It wasn't huge money, thankfully. It was a £1,000 threw on the Twitter three times the fun, as I always say, or three times the game. That's what, that's what we always say on the channel. Threw it on on Thursday. We read it up. Lovely jubbly, and then it just tanked really, really hard, um, and especially after half four when the markets closed, okay? So that was Thursday with the Easter holidays. Yesterday, the USA market was open, UK market wasn't open, and Twitter throbbed. This was my trade, £1,000 in, well, just shy, it was £900 actually, and down 17.42% in one given day, one hell of a gaping. So this was how it closed on Thursday before the holiday. That's how it closed, 17.42%. And another thing I'll add is, if you look at the time, that was five past eight. It was 25 past eight before this thing updated. 25 minutes into the trading, before the guy in the garage is working out, how can I rob these guys? I will do this. 25 minutes it took him to do all that crap in the background and then send it out, yep. So if we go to the Twitter chart then and we look at half four on Thursday, can't quite get it, so we'll even go with four o'clock. We scroll this right up to the top, we are up 7.6%. But let me ask Alexa for this because I'm clearly not capable of working out this here because it doesn't tie up. Alexa, what's 7.5 times three? 7.5 times three is 22.5. 22.5, let's say, take away fees, let's say 20% gain is the difference between half four and Thursday till the next trading day, so 20%. So I'm not saying um, I'm going to be huge up on this. I am even saying you would like to think in and around about way, given the fact that I've taken off a lot already, given all that BS, we're only looking 17.5% to go green. Minimum, I should have been open. I should have had my £158 back. Let's see how it went. Right, calculating the price, all the BS. Guy in the garage making them up. Meanwhile, also jumped on this. Never, and again, never. I only did this because it was just to get it on my portfolios. I didn't care about a market price. But never, ever buy anything at market price, especially these gapers, because every time it will buy you at a price that it's never hit. I swear to God, it never works out well. It's always bing, boom, 15% 15 down. The thing's only up 15%. So what the f happened here? Don't know. Anyway, gap. Check the time. Quarter past eight. This thing opened up. 16.7%. The thing's up. Supposedly 11%, we've worked it out, it should be minimum probably 20, but we'll even take 17. The thing opened up at shy of 11%. Half of where it probably should have been. And here, my price has only changed by 1%. I am up four pounds. Okay. Here's on the other flip side then, I also have this small bit in Disney, three times the fun. These are trades that went really horribly wrong, but they're good companies, I'll build a dig myself out of the hole, I'm hoping anyway. Tell you what, I worked out that, no problem with that, Disney was down 3%, so three times that, mm, give or take about 12%, eh, 10.5%. Here, accurately, that one's worked out, they're quick to take the freaking gapers down. 
The knickers are down every time. They're quick to get them down. Tell you what, they're not quick to pull them up. We are now 27 minutes into the opening trade and I'm back to 150. I'm up three pound even though the thing is saying this. Okay, so what's going on must be the spread because it doesn't make sense. And it's at 1.6 and they're saying the spread's at 1.4. 0.2, one hell of a gaping. What that means is they're waiting for nine o'clock. They're waiting for the pre-markets to open because they don't want to give you the money. They're going, oh, we'll just, we'll just rob them with the spread. So pretty much no change. The thing should be up 20%, no change. I'm sitting there with my in my hand at the mercy of these guys going, or, you know, what's going to happen? Pre-market opened, slightly up on the day. Boom, it changes. So five past nine, five minutes after the fact, it changes. Still, Top line, percentage hasn't changed, but the spread. Obviously, these guys go, well, I can't rob them that much. We'll give them a wee bit back. Still one hell of a gaping. Still one hell of a gaping. Fraudulent robbing b****. That's why I wanted to bring this video to you. One reason you shouldn't do it is because of the time differences. It leaves you just gaped. All the built-in fees. You have no idea of how to use charts or anything because it's just, it, you know where to tan it up. That is the first thing that they do to gape you. Two, they will hold back in the differences between the times when, when you're losing money. They'll quickly they'll give it to you. It'll all calculate correctly. Don't worry about that. If you want to lose money, it'll be bang on the money. But see, when you want to make money, oh no, they'll hold back. They'll pull out all the cards. They'll get you on the spread. They'll mess up the top line percentages, robbing you blind. Three, there's no transparency. There's literally no idea of the FX fees. There's no idea of the daily fees, how it's all calculated, when the reset is done. It just eats it away. Leverage trades are grim. You don't want to hold them long. Ideally, they're only really for day trades. And I have proven here within one day, I mean, you're talking about within three trading hours of this thing, it has completely and utterly not tied up at all. I get holding these things long term, the reset, the daily thing, it doesn't work, I get that. These things are designed for day trades only, but I have shown you here that for a day trade, you will get caught with your knickers down and the arse will be gaped off you every day and twice on Sundays. That is just it. Stay away from these things. You're better off sticking to the more tried and tested, the eye shares, the granite shares, the proper ones that are there for sh shorting the, X the NASDAQ, the SQQ, the ones we talk about on the channel. These things that are made up are corrupt. Stay away and that is the video. The rant's over guys. If you're interested in more rants and stuff, watch this video because I tell you what, there is more gapings to come beyond these things. You need everything to work in your favor and these guys are robbing, thieving, and if you have any similar comments or anything that I've missed down, please feel free to look into it. But I think I've been very reserved and I think the obvious thing, what well, can't lie, can't speak, that is one hell of a given.